freshwater fish are a critical source of micronutrients and income for many rural communities across the world. Fish provide nutrients that are highly bioavailable, which means they are easily absorbed by the human body. In the Kenya part of Lake Victoria, rural fishing communities rely on freshwater fisheries for income and food. In these communities, fish are the main and sometimes the only animal source food consumed. They catch two small silver cyprinids called omena and fulu, as well as Nile tilapia and Nile perch. The fish are dried, smoked, fried, or cooked in stews and soups. These fish are sold fresh or processed and transported on trucks and motorcycles to cities or consumed locally. Some people around the lake eat omena every day, paired with maize and a local leafy green vegetable. Both men and women rely on these fisheries for income. Men do most of the fishing, while mainly women are tasked with the processing, drying, and cooking of the fish. Unfortunately, the fishing pressure has increased, and the increased competition for fish might be affecting local livelihoods and food security. The University of Stirling in Scotland and the Institute of Marine Research in Norway have partnered to design interdisciplinary methods for understanding how fish catch and consumption in the Kenyan communities around Lake Victoria is affecting people's food security. Hi, I'm Alexandra Pounds, a PhD candidate from the University of Stirling. In this project, we're asking questions like, what happens to fishers' diets when the fisheries start to fail? Are fishing communities transitioning to other livelihoods, and if so, will they change what they eat? Will they eat less fish, perhaps abandoning traditional recipes for convenience food, as we see in other parts of the world? And what does that mean for their micronutrient intake? These questions are particularly interesting in contexts like Lake Victoria, where aquaculture is on the rise. Does cultured fish provide a substitute for wild-caught fish in fishers' diets? Does aquaculture support fishers' transitions to alternative livelihoods? Our partnership was funded by the Marine Alliance for Science and Technology for Scotland. With this grant, we are collecting and transporting fish samples to Norway for micronutrient analysis. This grant also funds an exchange, where researchers are working side by side to develop methods that will contextualize the micronutrient composition of these food samples within the diets of the people consuming them. I think it is of utmost importance to work interdisciplinary if we are going to reach SDG 2, Zero Hunger, and 3, Good Health and Wellbeing. Interdisciplinary work can be challenging, and in my experience, it often takes time to learn each other's languages, jargon, and ways of thinking. This grant has made it possible for us to meet and spend time together for sharing knowledge, discussing, and developing common approaches for optimizing our methodology and research questions. Check out our website for up-to-date information on our research.